Hey, what is going on, Pisces? Butch Tarot here. I keep saying, even though this is in the background, but habit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do your October read from now to the end of October. Um, I was a little held up. I've been sick the last few days, so my voice is still a little bit off, but two days ago, I couldn't talk at all, so... We'll uh, make do of it. I appreciate all you guys reaching out, commenting, and and sending me emails, wondering if I was okay. I am okay. It's just Eastern Canada at this time of year can be brutal. It'll be 30 degrees one day and 9 the next, and then 25 the next. So our bodies weren't made to go through that adjustment, even though I do it every year. It's usually the time I get sick. But with all that being said, um, it is a general read. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all your cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Uh, with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, message we have for Pisces for October Right, Pisces. Okay. So the first thing, Pisces, for some of you, uh, this can be someone that you, you've been dealing with for a while. For others, this is kind of a new love. But what I'm feeling is I feel like you don't know if you can trust. I, I mean, it's not that you can't trust this person, but it's like you, you don't know what's really going on with them feeling like it would be reckless absolutely reckless to stay with this i mean it, it feels like there's moments when it feels like this person is playing you you know it feels like they're hiding something from you we got the seven of swords you know kind of feeling like this person is keeping you at a distance from time to time like getting hot and cold energy not really knowing what's really going on with this person you know, kind of trying to figure out because I, I feel like you really care about this person. You know, you see a lot of potential with this person. But there's also some questions that aren't being answered. Like what's going on with this person? Like, and I, I mean, I feel like it causes you stress, causes you anxiety that late night not being able to sleep. Uh, we have the Ten of Swords, I, I, you know, kind of brings back some memories of, time, you know, maybe a past person that had betrayed you. And it's almost like you're not in a hurry to get in that type of situation again. Like, is this what I'm heading for type energy? Because I feel like, like I said, this person is not giving you any answers. You know, they kind of feel distant from time to time. I mean, sometimes things are great. And other times it's like, you don't know if they're hiding something from you. You don't know if there's something going on that you're just not seeing. So it's almost like you feel part of you is this in, I mean, there's this internal struggle because part of you sees the potential part of you feels a connection, but then there's a part of you would, it's, it's like, am I being reckless with this shit? Like, am I walking in to a setup kind of, you know, that, that feeling when, you're like walking into something. You're like, I don't know if this is a good thing for me or a bad thing for me. And it's solely because of their lack of communication is what I'm seeing. They're not confirming or denying the shit that you're, you're thinking. So it's like what, you know, it's like that old saying, words without actions are meaningless. But actions without words are confusing. 
you know, I mean, I, I just see this internal struggle within you. Like you really, you really feel this deep connection to this person, but you don't want it to be one-sided. And you feel like there's something that's not being said or there's something they're not telling you. Because like I said, I mean, they, I mean, actions without words are confusing. I couldn't describe this any better. I mean, I feel like they're, you know, feeling like they're closed off to you. You know, things start going, you know, you're really hitting it off. And then all of a sudden they just kind of like block you out. You know, when it gets to the point where you're like, okay, why? I mean, I feel this way f for you. I want this to be more. But I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that because I don't know what the hell's going on with you. Like, are you into this? Are you not? Like, it's almost like, like I said, it's that hot and cold energy. And I mean, I feel like you really want this. I mean, I feel like you really do. You really feel this deep connection to this person, but it's like, what am I getting into? What am I walking into? I'm not going to walk into a trap. And because the, like I said, you're not getting the confirmation, but that's what I'm here for. What I see when it comes to this person, I mean, I feel like this person thinks about you and only you. You know, I feel like they fantasize about you. You know, they're always thinking about you. And I don't feel like this is, they're not used to it is what I'm seeing. This is, they weren't expecting this. Like you showed up into their life and they fell, they fell hard. You know, they can't get you off their mind. They're thinking about you. They're dreaming about you. I mean, they're already looking at the future with you. I mean, we have the family card. And as for the connection, it's not one-sided because, I mean, I, I feel like there is love here. There's a deep love. You know, it's like that iceberg love that I love to talk about. I mean, we both seen it. And that's why I feel like even though you feel like this may be reckless, you're not exactly walking away from it either. You know, you're not encouraging it, but you're not discouraging it. Because there is something here. What you're feeling is real. You know, you have a deep connection with this person. And it's like I said, with that, that lover's card, I call it the iceberg love um, because there's so much going on below the surface. You know, what you see is just a tiny portion of what's really, good, what's really there. You know, I, I mean, I feel like this person is going to show up for you. They will put in the work for you. You know, this person will protect you. But that emperor, you know, I get the feeling that this person's already made their mind up about this. I, I feel like they've already, they've already decided what they want from this. They already decided that they're all in. I just feel like they haven't told you yet. Because I feel like this person has an issue with being vulnerable. Because they've never been in a, put in a position like that before. But it's clear they know what they want. And it's clear that their feelings are real. You know, with that, that king of cups, it's emotional maturity. You know, it's someone that they know what they want. You know, and I see, I mean, I see emotional fulfillment. And I see this person not walking away. And I don't feel like you're walking away either. Like I said, maybe hesitant to move forward. But... I mean, the head might be saying no, but the heart's saying yes. And I feel like you should trust your heart. You know, I feel like this is exactly what it's telling me. I mean, we got the nine of, you know, we got the nine of cups and emotional fulfillment. We got the eight of cups not walking away from this connection. You know, I feel like you have a strong, very strong bond with this person. And I feel like it's a lifelong bond. I feel like you're on the same page with this person. The only thing that's stopping it from moving forward, the only thing that has been stopping this from moving forward is I feel like this person 
They're afraid. They are afraid. They're not afraid of you. They're not afraid of, of love. They're just afraid because this is new for them. They weren't expecting to fall in love. And from what I see here, I don't feel like this is something, it, it's not something they do. You know, they don't fall in love and they weren't expecting it because I feel like this person, this caught them so off guard that it's like, they're trying to find rhyme or reason here, but there is no rhyme or reason in love. It just is. And like I said, I mean, I feel like you are going to find balance in this situation because I do see this person seeing things in a completely different perspective, which is going to give you balance. You know, and... You know, it, sometimes we get in a position in life where we're not expecting something to happen and we don't know what to do with that. I mean, but this person's already envisioned a future with you. They're already envisioned, I mean, having a, being a family with you. That's a big commitment. I mean, so this person really knows what they want. They just got to let go of all that other shit. And I see that happening. And I see you finding strength in this connection. You know, I, I don't feel like this person's ever been really overly emotional. I think that's what I'm getting at. But you bring in emotions to this person they weren't expecting. And I feel like it caught them off guard. But don't be, don't be afraid of it because they're not walking away. They're on the same page. They want the same thing. But there's a lot of strength here. Like I said with that emperor, I mean, it's a very protective energy. You know, it's the protector. But the emperor also tells me that this person's already made up their mind about you. So not going anywhere. Not without you. You know, like I said, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the quote again. Uh, words without actions are meaningless. But actions without words are confusing. And I feel like that's exactly what we got here. So like I said, for some of you, this may be someone you've been dealing with for a while. For others, this might be a new love, but it is love. Either way, it is love. And their actions are causing you to feel like this may be reckless, but um, things are changing. And like I said, that I mean, this is for the month of October, so uh, I feel like things are changing quickly. Um, with this person... We have, we have a lot of fire. I could give us some reasoning to why they're not overly emotional uh, or overly good at overly showing their emotions uh, because we do have, you know, we have Aries, we have Leo, and we have Sagittarius. Uh, we have Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. We also have Cancer. some Pisces. You know, it's um, just because someone isn't good at showing you they love you doesn't mean they don't. It doesn't mean that at all. I mean, in my relationship in the very beginning, I was, I'm all fire. I'm a fi uh, Sagittarius sun and moon and a Leo rising. And in my chart, in my 12 houses, I got way more fire going on. So I was never really good at showing emotion. I'm more of, I'm more of a show passion, you know? But I feel like when you meet the right person, they bring it out of you, whether you want it to or not. You know, you could probably fight it for a little bit, I mean, I know when I met Rose, I fought a little bit, you know, but when you truly care about someone, there's no hiding it. You know, you, you can, you can keep it away a little bit, but now that's not always the case. Unfortunately, 
You can be with someone that loves the shit out of you and you not know it. And it could end the relationship. Some people are just... Even the, the toughest person you've ever met has a soft side. They're just better at hiding it. You know, a... You know, and I, and I get it because, like I said, I mean, it, it it may feel reckless. It may feel like, you know, you're jumping into something and you don't really know what you're getting into. So it's like scary because you're like, you know, why if they feel the same as me, why don't they show it the way I show it? But you got to remember because people are different, especially I mean, Pisces are very loving. They're very openly loving. It doesn't mean that a Leo or an Aries or a, a Gemini or Aquarius or whatever other sign, because they don't show it the same way, doesn't mean they don't feel it the same way. But for all the cross watches out there, that's not an excuse that's going to hold up forever. You know, if you care about someone, you got to show them. You got to be all in. Because if you're not, there's going to be someone that comes along that's going to show them. And if, even if... The next person show that like, comes along doesn't love them half as much as you do. As long as they're willing to show them at least half, it's more than you are doing. You know, so. <coughs> Excuse me. People only stick around so long. You know, you can only tell someone no so long or, or you can only keep someone in the dark so long before they're just like, you know. We got a, I love the fire sign, water sign connection. Like I said, there's a lot of fire in this read. I love the connection because it's like, you know, it's, it's like that. It kind of, for me, I really see, um, you know, it, the, the water signs kind of rub off on the fire signs and the fire signs kind of rub off on the water signs. And it's like, it makes a really strong couple. I mean, a lot of couples I've seen, um, you know, I see great. And it's not that fire and water and fire and air, fire and earth. You can have a great connection no matter what, but I really enjoy. Uh, I have a few couple friends, um, fire and water, and, and it's just, it, it's, it's something else. And I'm talking about really deep water people and really deep fire people. I'm not talking about just having a, a couple placements. Um, my friend, he's a Leo, and his his girlfriend is a Scorpio. And you know they've evolved so much since the beginning. You know they've been together almost as long as me and Rose. And you know he's definitely more able to show emotions, and she definitely sticks up for herself more. Not to say Scorpios don't stick up for themselves because Scorpios, trust me, my sister's a Scorpio and she scares the shit out of me. But in her case, she was more of a watery, you know, really loving. Um, but I remember when they first got together, she was really emotional. Like she really got, let things get to her. And now she just, she he rubbed off on her and she's got, you know, she sticks up for herself. She's really... A really strong uh, woman. So it's just funny when you see people rub off at each other. I mean, I have a friend, it's kind of unrelevant. Another couple that that we, we hang out with from time to time. Um, he's a Taurus and, and she's a Sagittarius, which I, I really find them funny. Like she's really spontaneous and, you know, she... For a long time, she jumped job to job, and he always had the same job, you know, as a Taurus. Um, I think they fell in love both because they're both foodies. They really had that in common. But he's really calmed her down, and she's really kind of loosened him up. So I think it's really cool to see unique couples like that. Like, he was really kind of like a straightforward guy that just worked. You know, I remember um, being in, in my early 20s, and um, he was the type of guy, he'd go, you know, he'd go to work, he'd go home, make some food, you know, do some things and go to bed early. 
Like he was always in bed early. We used to tease him all the time. Um, I'm talking about early. Like this guy would be in bed by 9.30. Didn't have to work till 7.30, 8 o'clock or whatever. But he'd be the guy that gets up at 5.30 in the morning, makes a complete breakfast. Um, it wasn't me. When I was young, I would get up. I had to be working at 7.30. I'd be up at 7 o'clock. I'd get a 10-minute shower and then grab a coffee and go to work. <laughs> You know, and he was never the type of guy that really went out and hung out with people. But, you know, over the years, he's loosened up. He comes to barbecues now and, you know, he has a good time. I mean, not that he didn't go to parties a few times before, but when he was at the party, he was always that guy you knew. He was the sober driver. He was the, you know, um, the big brother, the chaperone of the party. He's always trying to keep people in line. And... Um, like I said, they were very different when they met, but I feel like that's what great couples do. They really mold into each other. You know, they bring out different parts of each other. He enjoys life more. She's a little more stable now. We all know Sagittarius as they can be quite adventurous and hard to keep in one place. Um, but that's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.